The Brain Shuffle Chapter 1 – The Invitation As I picked up the envelope from my doorstep, I couldn't help but feel a strange sense of anticipation. The cryptic invitation had finally arrived. Confirming my entry into the mysterious high-stakes card game that I had only heard rumors about. My heart raced as I carefully opened the envelope and unfolded the letter inside. I could hardly believe this was happening to me. The invitation listed the strict rules and guidelines for participating in the game each one meticulously detailed. My palms grew sweaty as I read through them, feeling both excitement and anxiety. This was the opportunity of a lifetime, and I was determined not to let it slip away. I tried to calm my nerves, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something big was about to happen. Alone in my apartment, I went over my strategy for the game. I knew that winning wouldn't be easy, but I had confidence in my skills and experience. I had spent countless hours honing my craft, and now it was time to put everything I had learned to the test. I whispered to myself, You've got this, Logan. You were meant for this moment. As the day of the game approached, I found it difficult to focus on anything else. My thoughts constantly drifted to the upcoming challenge and the potential rewards that awaited me if I were to come out on top. The stakes were high, but I knew I had what it took to win. The night before the game, I lay in bed unable to sleep, my mind racing with thoughts of the competition. I knew I had to keep my focus and trust in my skills if I were to succeed. As I finally drifted off to sleep, I made a silent promise to myself I would give it my all and I wouldn't let this opportunity pass me by. Chapter 2 – The Preparation The morning of the game arrived, and my heart pounded in my chest as I got ready. Every detail of my appearance had to be perfect, as I knew that my opponents would be scrutinizing me, looking for any sign of weakness. I meticulously selected my outfit, opting for a sleek suit that exuded confidence. I arrived at the luxurious venue a little early, wanting to familiarize myself with the environment and get a sense of the atmosphere. The room was filled with an electric energy and I could feel the anticipation building as other players began to arrive. As I surveyed the room, I made a mental note of my competitors, trying to gauge their strengths and weaknesses. I knew that understanding their playing styles would be essential to my success, so I did my best to observe them discreetly. In the moments leading up to the game, I took some time to center myself and clear my mind. I knew that I had to stay calm and focused if I were to make the right decisions under pressure. I took several deep breaths and visualized myself winning the game, reinforcing my self-confidence and determination. As the dealer began to shuffle the deck, my heart raced with excitement. This was the moment I had been waiting for, and I was ready to prove myself. I glanced at my opponents one last time, 
mentally preparing for the battle ahead. With a quiet resolve, I whispered to myself, This is it, Logan. It's time to show them what you're made of. Chapter 3 The First Moves As the game commenced, I felt an intense focus settle over me. The room seemed to fade away, leaving only the table, my opponents, and the cards in front of me. I knew that every move I made would be critical, and I couldn't afford to let my guard down. The first few hands were relatively uneventful with each player testing the waters and trying to assess their opponents. I played cautiously, not wanting to reveal too much of my strategy too soon. However, I kept a close eye on the other players, looking for patterns and tells that could give me an edge. As the game progressed, the stakes began to rise, and so did the tension at the table. I could feel the eyes of my competitors on me, sizing me up and trying to get a read on my playstyle. I did my best to keep my poker face intact, not giving away any hint of my intentions or the strength of my hand. During a particularly high-stakes round, I was dealt a promising hand. My heart raced as I considered my options, weighing the risks and rewards of each possible move. It was a pivotal moment in the game, and I knew that I had to make a bold play if I wanted to secure my position. With a surge of adrenaline, I decided to take a risk and raise the bet significantly. As I pushed my chips forward, I could see the surprise in my opponent's eyes. Some hesitated, clearly unsure of whether to call or fold. In that moment, I knew that my bold move had paid off. My confidence soared as several players reluctantly folded, leaving only a couple of challengers remaining. As I faced down my remaining opponents, I knew that the game had truly begun. I steeled myself for the intense mental battle that lay ahead, determined to emerge victorious. Chapter 4, The Turning Point The atmosphere in the room grew more intense with each hand, as the stakes climbed higher and the field of players narrowed. I could feel the pressure mounting, but I also felt a surge of excitement. This was the kind of challenge I lived for, and I was determined to rise to the occasion. As the game continued, I became more adept at reading my opponents, anticipating their moves, and exploiting their weaknesses. I felt like I was in the zone, my senses heightened and my mind razor sharp. But despite my success so far, I knew that one wrong move could still spell my downfall. I had to stay vigilant. Then, during a critical hand, I found myself facing a tough decision. I had been dealt a strong hand, but one of my remaining opponents, a seasoned player with a reputation for cunning, had just made a massive bet. It was clear that he was trying to intimidate me into folding but I wasn't sure if it was a bluff or if he genuinely had a stronger hand. I took a deep breath and considered my options. The stakes were incredibly high, and folding would severely damage my chances of winning. 
but calling the bet and losing would be even more disastrous. I had to trust my instincts and make a decision. After a moment of intense deliberation, I decided to call the bet. My heart pounded in my chest as I pushed my chips forward and waited for my opponent's reaction. He hesitated, then slowly revealed his cards. To my relief, my hand was stronger, and I had won the round. I could see the frustration and disbelief on my opponent's face but I refused to let it distract me. I knew that the game was far from over, and I had to maintain my focus if I wanted to claim victory. With renewed determination, I pressed on, ready for whatever challenges the game still had in store for me. Chapter 5 The Final Showdown as the game progressed, the tension in the room reached a fever pitch. Only two players remained myself and my most formidable opponent, a veteran card shark who had a knack for getting under my skin. I knew that if I wanted to win, I would have to remain focused and not let his mind games affect me. The final hand was dealt, and I couldn't believe my luck I had been dealt an incredibly strong hand. But as I glanced over at my opponent, I could see the confidence in his eyes, and I knew that he must have had something equally impressive. This was going to be a battle of wits and nerve, and I had to be at the top of my game. I made my initial bet, trying to hide my excitement behind a calm and collected facade. My opponent raised the stakes, and I matched his bet. We continued in this dance, raising and calling each other's bets, until the pot had grown to an astronomical size. Finally, it was time for the last bet the moment of truth. My opponent made one final, massive bet. His eyes locked on mine, daring me to call. I hesitated, my heart pounding in my chest as I weighed my options. I knew that this decision could make or break my victory, but I also knew that I couldn't let fear hold me back. With a deep breath, I pushed all my remaining chips into the pot and called his bet. The room held its collective breath as we both revealed our cards. I had a full house, a powerful hand by any measure but my opponent's cards revealed a straight flush, one of the rarest and strongest hands in the game. For a moment, my heart sank, and I felt the weight of defeat bearing down on me. But then I remembered a crucial rule of the game, one that I had nearly forgotten in the heat of the moment the wild card. In this particular game, there was one card that could stand in for any other, and I held it in my hand. With a surge of adrenaline, I realized that I could use the wild card to create a higher straight flush, securing my victory against all odds. The room erupted in cheers and applause as I claimed the pot, my heart still racing from the excitement of the final hand. I had triumphed against the odds proving my skill and determination in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. The victory was sweet, but even sweeter was the knowledge that I had stayed true to myself and played my best game possible. 
Chapter 6 The Aftermath and New Beginnings In the aftermath of my astonishing victory, the atmosphere in the room shifted from tense anticipation to sheer disbelief and excitement. My opponent, though visibly disappointed, offered a gracious handshake and congratulated me on my win. I thanked him, acknowledging that it had been a hard-fought and thrilling game, one that I would never forget. As the crowd dispersed and the adrenaline began to fade, I took a moment to reflect on the journey that had led me to this point. I had faced numerous challenges and setbacks, both in the card game and in life, but I had never given up. This victory was a testament to the power of perseverance and belief in oneself even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. Word of my triumph spread quickly, and soon I found myself receiving invitations to participate in high-stakes games and tournaments around the world. It seemed that my days of obscurity were behind me and I was ready to embrace this new chapter in my life with open arms. As I embarked on this exciting new journey, I carried with me the lessons I had learned from that fateful card game. I knew that success would not always come easily, but I also knew that with determination, skill, and a little bit of luck, I could overcome any challenge that came my way. In the years that followed, I continued to make a name for myself in the world of card games. Earning the respect and admiration of fellow players and fans alike. But through it all, I never forgot the humble beginnings that had set me on this path and I remained committed to always playing my best game and staying true to myself. And so, my life as a renowned card player began, full of thrilling victories, heart-wrenching defeats, and unforgettable experiences. But no matter what twists and turns my future held, I knew that I would always carry the memory of that one. Fateful game the game that had changed my life and shown me the true power of perseverance and self-belief.